Let's see what I've got. Ooh, yikes. Oh my God. Yeah, check this out. This is um, three direable foot bones that have actually become sort of arthritic and fused together. So this is one of those examples of trampling injuries that modern wolves get as well. I'm Emily Lindsay. I'm the Associate Curator and Excavation Site Director at La Brea Tar Pits. Dire wolves are not alive again. <laughs> what the company actually did, they were able to obtain DNA and reconstruct part of the genome of the dire wolf. Dire wolves are canids, dog relatives, that we know from prior ancient DNA research are not actually that closely related to gray wolves. They're actually separated by several million years of evolution. They're in a completely different genus called Anocyon, which is completely extinct. Modifying some genes of a gray wolf to look like a dire wolf is not the same Thing. It would be like taking a human genome, modifying it so that the human had, say, more hair and long arms and saying that you've created a chimpanzee. It's not the same thing. The dire wolves went extinct during a huge global wave of extinctions that in North America alone wiped out at least more than 30 other species, bringing them back into an ecosystem that doesn't have any of the other large animals that occupy that ecosystem, and into a climate that is not only different, but getting farther away from the Ice Age climate every year due to human-caused climate change, does not have any clear conservation benefit.